For the last three years, 23-year-old Lucy Pinder has been one of the highest-earning glamour models in the UK. Models like Lucy can earn over £100,000 a year, but having 32 double G breasts hasn't always been so rewarding. The first year of secondary school, I think everyone was kind of developing and I wasn't, and then all of a sudden, after the second year of secondary school, they just kept on developing. I think like when I had my first few bras, felt fine because everyone else was pretty much at the same size. But when I, I got to about 13, 14 and noticed that mine were getting a lot bigger than everyone else's. We used to have endless shopping trips trying to get bras to fit her when she was younger, which used to be uh, quite depressing for Lou. Being like a 14, 15 year old girl and having quite a womanly body, you know, when, when all the other girls at school could wear little strap tops in the summer, I think generally as a teenager you feel a bit more self-conscious. I can remember a particular sports day, because she was always a very good sprinter. This particular day her friends were laughing at her because um, her boobs were moving quite a lot and I can remember her being quite embarrassed that day and cursing them a little bit. Actually, at school and at college, I hardly ever wore my hair up. I always kind of had it down so that I could cover them a bit. It's quite hard to hide big boobs in life if, when you're going out and nice little tops, you know. The fact is, is that you can't actually hide them very well, especially in the summer. When Lucy was sunbathing on Bournemouth Beach in 2003, she was spotted by a photographer and her modelling career began. My mum used to joke, actually, because I used to moan a little bit about my boobs, and she used to say either have a reduction or make money out of them. Just about everyone seems to get their boobs out these days. It's certainly not such a stigma anymore, I don't think. I mean, most actresses will do glamour shoots now. We're becoming quite blasé about it, I think. For Lucy, having her cleavage checked out is now an occupational hazard. If I see a woman with really big boobs somewhere, you are, you're going to look. With my job, I am immediately associated with my large boobs. You know, that's what, that's what they're there for. When we're out shopping or in the high street, I do notice people not so much... Well, they stare at her mainly because they recognise her, but um, Lucy's oblivious. I remember when I was younger, I was with my mum in a shop and a boy walked into a post and I didn't even see it and my mum was like laughing but um yeah I don't really notice I don't really notice it very much from self-conscious teenager to successful glamour model Lucy's feelings about her chest have changed Lucy's relationship with her boobs now obviously she's glad she's she's got them because you know they're the reason she's doing the job she does and she makes the living she does I think looking back before I got into the glamour industry, I probably moaned and thought, oh, I wish I had slightly smaller boobs. But now, you know, they're kind of, they are my, my living with my famous breasts. Um, I've got to love them, I suppose. So, yeah, I'm, I'm rather happy with my boobs. Yeah.